products and a solution that Britam has been working on from the feedback that we have received from you. So I would like to now invite uh, Jackson Theory uh, to give his opening remarks. Thank you, Diane. Um, the Chief Executive Officer of the Retirement Benefits Authority, Mr. Nzomo Mtuku, Britam Holdings, PLC Group Managing Director, Mr. Tabaziva Madzinga, Chief Executive Officer, Britam uh, Life Assurance, and Britam Holdings Retail Director, Mr. Abros Davani, uh, our MC for the day, Diane Coril, um, the Britam Holdings PLC Director Customer Experience, our invited guests and valuable customers uh, joining us online, my colleagues from Britam uh, again joining us online. Good morning, everyone. Mine today is a very simple task. Um, I'm here to tell you a story about a couple uh, and I will issue a disclaimer before I, I give the story and say that uh, any similarities uh, in names, uh, all events is purely accidental, but the story does get replicated in many households in Kenya today. So the couple in my story, I've changed the names, is Victor and Victoria, have worked hard all their lives Victor and Victoria work for a multinational company. During their working lives, they rose to senior management um, in the organization, had a fairly decent uh, level of uh, salary. And then the eventuality that we all face came where they reached the retirement age of 60 years. Among the benefits that they enjoyed as employees of this company is a very good health package and therefore their medical insurance was catered for by the employer so on their day 60 years plus one their medical cover the international very good medical cover that catered for local and international treatment was no longer available to them because they had retired and therefore um, they were expected cater for their medical expenses from their pocket or by taking health insurance. Now, um, I looked at the last uh, pensioner survey that was performed by the Retirement Benefit Authority. And the story I've given you is repeated uh, in many households in Kenya. The number, the, the, I looked at where do the um, retirees uh, spend their income. The number one, of course, is their household expenses. A number of them have school fees, but the number three need is actually their medical uh, need. So whether it's paying their medical expenses or it's uh, paying for health insurance. So today we are here uh, because we've had you and we've had, uh, uh, as Britain, we've developed a solution to start addressing this need. With those few words, it's now my pleasure to invite uh, Britam Holdings PLC Group Managing Director Tabaziva Madzinga. Welcome, Taba. Thank you very much, Jackson, and good morning everyone uh, and welcome to again another great milestone for the Britam group i think let me start by recognizing the chief executive officer of the retirement benefits authority mr nzomo mutuku for gracing us this morning at this very special occasion as we mark another important milestone for the Britam group and so i'm quite excited to be speaking to you today about the future of the group and putting the customers at the center of everything that we do. Let me also acknowledge my colleagues that are with me today that stand behind this great organization and also to acknowledge all our customers and our advisors who also provide tremendous support to us as a group. 
and who are our reason for being. So I think the Britam Group certainly has very strong historical foundations. We've been in operation for over 50 years. We operate across seven countries in the sub-Saharan Africa region. And I think it is fair to say that it is off the back of our strong foundations that we build going into the future. And so across our group, we are proud that we, we currently occupy the leading position here in Kenya in our life business. And we offer a variety of solutions to our customers, SMEs, corporates, right down to individuals and emerging consumers from life insurance, retirement planning, asset management, and property investments. And so for us, it is very important that we continue to drive inclusivity in financial services. And so providing healthcare to Kenyans and um, our customers across the region is of paramount importance to ourselves. And so we are very proud of some of our achievements. We are the largest micro insurer here in Kenya, driving affordable access to healthcare across the board. And so today we are putting the customer at the center of everything that we do. And so it's very important for us as a group that our customers experience the Britam group as one Britam. And so as a customer, we interface with you at a single point of contact for all your needs. And so for us, we've embarked on restructuring our business so that we organize ourselves around the customer. Now, planning for retirement is certainly something that is very difficult for all of us. I think admitting our very own ages is a difficulty. I think we get to a certain age, we start to hide our age. And I think for most of us, we certainly think we have more hair than we truly believe. And so the whole aspect of thinking and planning for retirement is an area that we need to move from denial and confront the reality. For us as the Britam Group, it is very important that we assist and that we help our customers as they transition from their working lives into the retirement phase. And so the pandemic over the last couple of years has certainly taught us that it is very important for us to think about our health, and it has certainly forced all of us to think a little bit more about the future. And for the Britam Group, this is critical to the way we think about our customers. And so in 2019, we introduced the Milele Health Plan, which is an inpatient medical cover that has no limit on age. And so all our senior citizens are able to enjoy medical cover during their golden years. And in 2021, in response to the COVID demands, we revamped the product to allow for COVID cover and also allow for telemedicine, online pharmacy, and medicine delivery. And so it really does give me great pleasure today to reveal to our customers the Britam Afia plan, which is a pension plan that is aimed at providing savings for treatment and provision of medical cover in retirement. And I think for most of us, the statistics are not lost. It is very clear that close to 92% of Kenyans who do have medical aid actually still need to dip into their personal savings in order to provide for their retirement medical needs. And unfortunately, this also coincides with a time when we are also in retirement facing a reduction in income. And so it is our strong belief that at the Britam Group that we need to assist our retirees with this financial burden. And so in adapting to these changing times, adapting to the changing needs of our customers, we're very proud to bring to you the Britam Afia Pension. And so talking a little bit more about our business looking forward, our business is certainly on strong footing. We have a strong heritage on which we build our foundations for the future. And it is our aim to continue to optimize our returns for all our customers and in particular, our pension clients. And so in closing, let me encourage you to take up the solution. Let me encourage you not to be in denial about your age or how much hair that you still truly have. And let me thank all our customers for your continued support and to thank all our advisors across the Britam Group who talk to our customers on a daily basis. 
And so, ladies and gentlemen, without further delay, let me invite Mr. Nzomo to give us the keynote address for this morning. Mr. Nzomo. Uh, the group managing director, Britam Holdings, uh, Tavaseba Madzinga. Our CEO and Principal Officer, Britam General Insurance, uh, Mr. Jackson Theory. Uh, Mr. Ambrose Dabani, CEO and Principal Officer, Britam Life Insurance. Uh, Diana Correll, Director Customer Experience. Uh, members of the Britam team, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I think it is a real uh, pleasure and honor for me to join you here uh, for this auspicious occasion of the launch of Brita Mafia Pension Solution. Uh, Brita Mafia is a responsive product geared towards closing the gap for universal health care, particularly for the senior citizens. I believe this product has come with a fundamental objective of ensuring decency of life and retirement. Uh, that is really at the core of our mission at RBA of promoting a healthy life for our members in retirement. It joins a growing list of post retirement medical funds that have been established, some uh, by employers in occupational schemes, um, others um, by administrators, others in individual personal pension plans. And now we are happy to see this one coming um, within an insurance uh, group. And the beauty of uh, the product that we are launching today is that Britam as an insurance provider is on both sides of the chain for post retirement medical. Because we have two sides in the chain, we have the accumulation stage where people are saving towards um, their medical, and then we have the payout phase where one is actually accessing uh, the medical uh, product. And I think Britam is well positioned on both sides of that, um, of that matrix. It cannot begin said that uh, medical care is a fundamental issue in retirement. I think as theory has just uh, mentioned, um, when we do our pensioner surveys, we do find that medical costs are one of the biggest challenges that retirees in Kenya um, are facing uh, today. Uh, the studies have revealed that um, healthcare constitutes a great expenditure component, and that is why as RBA we felt there was need to take some policy action to address this. And that was the genesis of post retirement medical fund, um, which started with necessary legal amendments, starting with amendments to the Retirement Benefits Act. And thereafter, we did um, regulations and then guidelines on how post retirement medical funds can operate in this country. And the idea is very simple. During working life, uh, when you are still young, uh, you can contribute something towards your medical in retirement and then you access it when you reach um, retirement uh, to get you the medical um, cover. So we have seen, like I mentioned, establishment of PRMFs in different categories of schemes, occupational, individual, umbrella, um, along uh, the framework in the guidelines that we gazetted in October uh, 2018. Uh, to support uh, the growth of these funds, we did also pass an amendment uh, exempting them from payment of uh, retirement uh, benefits levy. And then uh, just um, uh, earlier this year, uh, we did have another amendment um, which changed the definition of schemes um, so that post retirement medical done outside of pension schemes could also um, be regulated under the retirement benefits framework. So now we are also regulating what we call standalone post retirement medical funds apart from the ones which are established um, within uh, pension schemes. So it is really um, a great day for us when we see more institutions uh, launching, um, uh, uh, launching this, these products. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is my conviction that uh, these changes that we have made in the legislation framework will also bolster the growth of the pension industry as a whole. As at June uh, 2021, our industry was standing at 1.478 billion, so just below 1.5, uh, sorry, trillion, uh, just below 1.5 trillion uh, in terms of industry assets. 
uh, which was up from the uh, 1.3 trillion that we had in December um, 2020. And these assets are owned by around 22% of the labor force. Um, so the coverage has also been growing in terms of those who are covered uh, by the pensions um, industry. Uh, but nevertheless, it has been a difficult year for the pensions industry um, with the COVID pandemic. Uh, we did have a lot of shocks in our industry. Uh, we did see um, withdrawal shocks because we had a lot of our members um, lose their jobs and come and get some of their money out of the pensions industry. Uh, we did see contribution shocks because a number of employers uh, are having challenges in terms of being able to uh, make the contributions when they had, for example, closed operations or when they had sent their workers home on unpaid leave and, and, and so on. And then, of course, the third shock was on the investment side um, where um, we saw a lot of volatility in the markets. Uh, we saw issues of, uh, you know, challenges in rentals, for example, for property investments uh, and so on. Um, so uh, multiple shocks hitting the industry, but the industry has proved to be very resilient. And as, as you have seen, uh, we have still been able to grow and we're just below uh, 1.5 uh, trillion in terms of um, um, assets. I think <clears throat> despite the good uh, uh, progress that we have seen in the industry, we still um, want to do more, have more innovations. Um, post time and medical is one of the innovations, but there are still a number of other uh, changes uh, that we are bringing on board. Um, you know, to grow our industry and to help our members uh, get maximum value. Uh, one of these, as you know, is uh, the mortgage um, regulations, which we gazetted, which enable members to leverage their pension benefits uh, for purposes of acquiring a house, uh, which is in line with the Big Four agenda uh, on, on housing. So post retirement medical is targeting the Big Four agenda on universal access to health. Uh, mortgage is targeting uh, the agenda on housing. And I think when one retires and one has a house and one has medical, uh, then, you know, most of his needs in retirement are already well, are well catered um, um, for. Um, some of the other changes that um, we have seen, um, we had a recent amendment during the budget to enable us to uh, register, and supervise uh, what we call corporate trustees. Uh, these are trustees which are done through corporate as opposed to individuals. Uh, so that is in place. <clears throat> we did get more powers to address unremitted contributions, uh, which is a challenge in some of the schemes. And um, so we are now going to be able to uh, take uh, stronger measures against those who fail to remit contributions to the pension scheme. And this is for the purpose of securing the benefits of the members so that they are sure that their money is actually going to the scheme and being invested and also helping us in terms of growing um, um, uh, the industry. Um, so we shall continue to, you know, bring on board more innovations to see how we can um, strengthen uh, the industry and, um, you know, grow uh, uh, the assets and also protect the members um, and mem better. All this is in line with a strategic plan that we are implementing. Uh, this plan, uh, which we launched um, one and a half years ago, is really targeting towards uh, growing the coverage. Um, like I said, we are 22%. We are targeting to grow this coverage up to 30% by 2024. And also growing the assets at 2.4 trillion uh, by the time that um, we reach uh, 2024. So exciting times for the industry. And we are happy um, that we are seeing take up of some of these innovations uh, that we are coming with. So as I conclude, let me just um, urge um, Britam as our strategic partner um, to continue uh, deriving innovative ways uh, towards growing the industry, coming up with innovative products for your customers, helping scheme members to really achieve um, the optimal in terms of, you know, a secure and comfortable um, um, retirement. I will particularly urge you as you look for new innovations uh, to come up with products that target the informal sector, uh, because this is one sector which um, has been uh, somewhat excluded from the pensions uh, net. I need to bring the informal sector on board and have products which also enable them um, to save um, for retirement and have a comfortable retirement. So once again, congratulations uh, to the Britam team on the launch of uh, Britam Afia Pension. And uh, we look forward to 
a more comfortable retirement uh, for our members uh, through the medical provision that they'll get. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much to our speakers. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mutuku, for that enlightening message. Uh, thank you so much for driving the change, especially from a regulatory perspective, through policy amendments and enhancements, and promoting innovation and your commitment to grow the industry. We appreciate and we appreciate your presence here today. Um, thank you, Tava, as well, uh, for really bringing out the Britam vision and the Britam strategy. Uh, one Britam is what we want our clients to experience and putting our customers first as we continue to innovate um, and provide solutions that meet your specific needs. And Mr. Theuri, thank you as well. Uh, the story that you gave is really relevant and is present in every home. And that means that the product that we do have as well um, is a product that is very relevant to this particular industry, market, and the homes that are represented within. And so now we come to what we have been waiting for, and that is the product unveil. Um, please stand by as I ask our speakers to join me up here on stage as we unveil the Britam Afia pension plan.
RBA uh, Chief Executive, uh, Dr. Nzomo Mtuku, uh, Britam Group Managing Director, uh, Tava, and my colleagues, uh, those who are present and those watching and our clients out there, good morning. Uh, it's now my pleasure to just take you a brief introduction of what the product uh, is about. I uh, have about 15 minutes to do justice to this. And we'll all agree that in 15 minutes, I might not be able to say everything there is about this particular product, but we hope that it will be available on our website. Our financial advisors who are all over the country will be able to also uh, take you through the product uh, when, if you're interested. Uh, but we hope that uh, this particular new innovation that we have, uh, that is going to be able to be another cup in the feather of Britam uh, innovative products. It's a fact of life that when we are young, we are very healthy. And we all, always talk about never having visited a hospital uh, for very many years. But it is also a fact of life that at some point our health will deteriorate. It is also a fact of life that at some point our health costs become very the biggest expenditure that we have in our life. It is with this in mind, and as my other colleagues have spoken, that we have come up with this innovative product. And mine right now is in the next few minutes to just take you the key features uh, around this particular product. So what is Britam Afia Pension? Britam Afia Pension is a plan where you uh, take a decision to start planning for your retirement early and you begin to save in a Britam uh, scheme that has specifically been set up for this, where it, you are allowed to access this particular amount uh, when you retire to be able to purchase a medical insurance or to be able to utilize that particular money uh, for your own medical uh, expenditure. Uh, how do you contribute once you have set up this particular uh, fund? The contributions are purely voluntary. The contribution can either be from yourselves, uh, if you are a self-employed person or you are employed, or if you are a group that can come together and start uh, making the contributions. If you are employed, the employer can choose to chip in and also make a contribution. Or both of you, both the employer and the employee uh, can make a decision to uh, make the, uh, the contribution. The contributions vest immediately in a member. What this means is that once the employer has made the contribution, they cannot take it away from you. The level of contribution is normally a percentage of members' remuneration. But if you are self-employed, that is a decision that you can make uh, based on uh, what you can afford to put aside so it can either be a fixed amount or it can be an amount which is determined by any expert that you want to, to consult uh, before you take on this particular uh, uh, product. In terms of administration, uh, this particular product is administered by Britam. Uh, we have set up an umbrella scheme uh, through which these funds will be, uh, your fund and other people's fund will be put together and managed within uh, a pension, uh, umbrella pension scheme, uh, which invests this money in a guaranteed fund. Britam has a guaranteed fund that over time has given market beating returns, and therefore you're able to enjoy a return on the amount that you have contributed. Britam will also provide the necessary administrative services uh, for this particular product. For example, uh, in terms of showing you your statements, uh, communication, disclosure, and managing the compliance aspect around this particular product. As I said, the funds will be invested in an investment fund. Uh, it is a guaranteed fund, uh, which uh, is regulated uh, by our regulator. As an insurance company, we are regulated by IRA, and also because this falls within the RBA space that we make the necessary uh, compliance uh, with the RBA uh, regulation. There is a trustee, uh, there are trustees who will be legally in charge of uh, this particular fund 
and managing it on your behalf. How do you access your benefits as you, once you have made your contributions and growing? One way to access your contribution is through retirement. Now, when you retire, what are the avenues? You can either decide to, to take that particular fund, leave it with the fund manager, and draw down upon it as you need. Or you can decide to take that particular fund and buy an insurance cover. And as uh, mentioned by our group managing director, at Britam, we already have a product that is looking after people who have retired, and therefore you can use that particular amount as premium uh, for, to invest uh, in, the, in the product so that then your cover is guaranteed. Or you can move those particular funds to any other scheme uh, or medical fund uh, in accordance to the fund provisions. You can also access these particular benefits before retirement, but under certain uh, special circumstances. For example, if you leave your employer, uh, you can always access your own uh, contribution, but the employer contribution will not be available until either, for example, uh, you reach the age of early retirement in case of death or ill health or permanent emigration or relocation uh, to another country. On death, how do you access this particular benefit? Normally on joining, you will be required to nominate uh, a beneficiary. And you can always uh, amend this beneficiary uh, with time. Uh, this particular beneficiary uh, will then access this particular amount uh, in case of in the unfortunate uh, uh, event that you die, will access these particular benefits, uh, either uh, take them for their own medical cover. So if it is a spouse, they can continue with the cover uh, for, for using this particular amount, or they could choose to take it as a one-off payment. Um, about taxation briefly, speaking about taxation, um, this particular product here, uh, just like a pension scheme, uh, has certain tax advantages. Whatever contributions you make are deducted from your income uh, before uh, the taxation commences, so which then does reduce the amount on which uh, you are taxed, uh, except up to a certain uh, limit as the provision of the day uh, would be. So in conclusion, why would you want to sign up for this particular product? Uh, number one, uh, you're signing up with a brand Britain, a very strong company, strong heritage, as discussed, as uh, talked about by our group managing director. And therefore, you can live in peace knowing that your funds are secure and that they will be available uh, when you need them uh, in your retirement. You'll also have the peace of mind knowing that you don't have to burden your dependents at the time when your health fails, begins to fail you. These particular funds are invested. And because they are invested in high yielding return uh, assets, it means that you're going to also enjoy the growth of this fund, not just coming from your own contribution, but also uh, from the investment return that you are going to be earning. It is a flexible product uh, whereby we are saying that you are able to contribute uh, an amount that is affordable to you. You are able to withdraw uh, for, subject to the fund rules, and you're also able to transfer this particular fund to another similar uh, scheme. You enjoy the tax efficiencies uh, on the contributions to the extent uh, of the regulation of the day. And therefore, uh, that is an additional benefit uh, when you sign up for this particular uh, product. So with that, uh, our customers, we believe that uh, more details uh, will be available on our various uh, 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 digital platform uh, where you can go through the product in a little bit more detail uh, but also on that, we will also have a helpline where you can have consultation with our online teams in terms of more details. And we have many of thousands of our financial advisors across the country. You can contact one of your fi our financial advisors and they will be glad to take you through uh, the product in a lot more detail. Thank you.
thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dabani, for taking us through the product. And now there you have it, the Britam Afia Pension Plan. Um, and that is for you the means to towards uh, retirement and towards a peaceful um, and stress-free retirement. Um, I think now we'll get to our Q&A session. Um, and we thank all of you, uh, those who have posted questions in the chat. Um, and we have a team that's already answering some of those questions. Some questions already came to us through email. Um, so thank you, everyone. So I'll just ask a couple of questions to our speakers. Um, I'll start off with uh, Tava. Uh, one question for you. What assurance does Britam give to customers of such a long-term product in light of the changes the company has been going through in the recent past? Thank you very much, Diane. And I think it's a very relevant question given that we are speaking about events that will happen in the distant future. And so I think it is fitting for customers to ask, will the Britain brand be here to honor and to meet that commitment? I think it is true to say that the Britain brand has been in existence for close to half a century. And during that time, we've been through many ups and many downs. And I think the recent two years that we've gone through COVID have certainly been a catalyst for us as a group to think a little bit more intimately about the future of the group and the future of that group around its customers and its role in society in the region. And so it is on that basis that we have rearranged and restructured our group to focus around the customers. And so it is fitting that the group evolves, particularly at this point in time, as we start to think about the future and how we serve the customers in the next half century of the years to come. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Thank you, Tava. Excellent. Um, Mr. Mutuku, one question for you as well. What are the tax benefits and incentives for members? Yes, thank you. It's a very good, uh, very good question and very relevant. Um, because this is being done uh, through the Britain Umbrella Scheme, as you saw, uh, the tax treatment is actually just the same for the post-retirement medical side as it would be for the for the pension side. Um, and you know, pension uh, contributions in Kenya are tax advantaged. Uh, so, any contribution you make into the post-retirement medical fund, you will enjoy the tax deductibility. So, for example, if you're earning 50,000 and you're contributing 5,000 into the medical fund, then uh, you would be taxed on 45,000, not on 50,000, because the 5,000 is, uh, is tax deductible uh, up to the limit of, um, of, of 20,000 uh, per month. Um, so you get to enjoy the, the tax deductibility uh, together with the pension. And then uh, the investment income that you earn is also um, uh, tax, tax free. And like I said in my remarks, uh, we also don't have the levy that we have on the pension side, but we don't have it on the post-retirement medical fund. So it's a great way to save because you get all these tax advantages. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mutuku. There you have it. A lot of tax breaks and tax benefits uh, that you also get. Um, I think in the interest of time, uh, one final question for Mr. Dambani. Will my contributions earn interest? And if so, how much? Uh, thank you, Dan. Uh, the answer is an emphatic yes. As Britain, we will invest this fund in a high yielding uh, fund or assets, and we'll def de definitely every year declare a return uh, that is uh, top of the market. Uh, one key feature around this particular product is that it is invested in, an, in a guaranteed fund. Uh, what it means is that your capital amount would never go down. So there are no shocks where you'll come one day, you have contributed a total of uh, 100,000, and then you find that we are telling you uh, your money is 80, uh, despite the volatility in the market. So that is one key feature why you should be investing with, with Britain. But in addition to just uh, uh, guaranteeing your capital amount, we also guarantee a certain minimal return of about 
but that is just the flow. Uh, what we are saying is that typically we would be giving you return that are very market competitive uh, based on the assets that uh, we will have invested uh, the funds for you. Thank you. Back to you, Dean. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dambani. And so there you have it. Um, we have a great product for you uh, starting now. It's the means to our peaceful and stress-free retirement. Begin to save now. And we also have the solutions for you to purchase the cover at the point of retirement. Um, I'd like to thank all of our panelists uh, for gracing this occasion today. Thank you to our guests. And as we now come to the end of this program, I have enjoyed being your host. You have been a lovely and engaging, active participants on the chat. Please keep the questions coming. Uh, what we are not able to answer here, we will answer offline and share that with you. More details will be coming out um, with regards to the product. Uh, they'll be available through our various channels. I'd like to now invite uh, Grace Murata to give a vote of thanks and the closing remarks. Thank you. Welcome, Grace. Good morning, Retirement Benefits Authority Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Nzomo Motuko, Britam Holdings Group Managing Director, Mr. Tavaziva Maziga, Britam Holdings PLC Director, Customer Experience, Ms. Diane Coril, Britam Life Assurance CEO and Principal Officer, Mr. Abros Dabani, Britam General CEO and Principal Officer, Mr. Jackson Theory, Britam customers, Britam staff, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Grace Murata, Business Development Manager in Medical Sales at Britam, and it is a pleasure to be joining you this morning. I'm privileged to have been asked to give the port of thanks on this very special and historic occasion. I do hope that your loved ones are keeping safe during these challenging times. First and foremost, we'd like to appreciate the presence of RBA Authority, Retirement Benefit Authority, CEO, Mr. Nzoma Motuko. We have picked great insights from today's discussions and look forward to see how we can work together with the authority to offer timely retirement solutions to our customers and Kenya at large. Secondly, we would like to appreciate the Britain leadership led by our group managing director, Mr. Tava, for making it possible to hold this event to celebrate our achievements together and for steering the company through forward as we kick off the 2021-2025 strategic period. Preparing for this launch has not happened overnight. We are grateful to the members of the product development team and the event planning committee made up of motivated and dedicated colleagues who have worked tirelessly to ensure the success of this event. We also wish to thank our vendors and the entire production, including the wonderful decor you see here today, the music and the entertainment and the live streaming services that made this event a success. Thank you to our Ebo MC, Diane Coril for exemplary work in steering this event from the beginning to the end. Thank you to you all for making time to attend this event. We look forward to engaging more as we bring Britam Afia Pension to life and work to adding it to your pool of employees' benefits, enabling you to be an employer of choice. Lastly, Many thanks to our colleagues, customers, and financial advisors for their resilience in the face of massive challenges and uncertainty during this period and for attending this virtual session. I wish you all a lovely day ahead. Blessed day and stay safe. Thank you.
Thank you.